All right, guys, so this is my second day in Phuket. Yesterday I had landed and I had got in. Um, didn't do much. I did a little bit going out, whatnot, had a little fun, checked out the scene, checked out the people who were going in and out, the tourists, the locals, so that was cool. This is going to be my second day in Phuket. And today I'm going to be going off over to the PP Islands as well as the Bamboo Islands. And that should be interesting because it's going to be a lot of good water fun. So, uh, the sun is going to be crazy. It's going to be high heat today. So I brought some sunscreen. I got ready with my beach towels. And I even got a long sleeve shirt to put on in case I need to be a little bit more protected from the sun. So I'm headed right now down to the lobby area waiting to get picked up. And um, hopefully today's trip is good. It's eventful. And it's something that uh, I can remember for the rest of my life and be able to share with so many people uh, and recommend it to any of anybody that's interested. So yeah, now it's time for me to go downstairs into the lobby. I'm gonna be waiting on the car and I'm not sure how far the distance is from my hotel to Bamboo or even how many more people we're looking to pick up, but uh, I'm excited. This is gonna be pretty suspenseful and yeah, let's go. guys I'm in the van right now we're headed over to the PP Islands so I'm just gonna pick up a few more people before we get on but yeah excited about it because uh, the, the driver is actually before time he told me to get down at 720 and he got me at like 717 so thank goodness I was just sitting there and somebody actually pointed me out they asked me if I was my name and I said yeah that's me so here we go everybody's on time so I'm excited about us making it to our destination at the right time. Yeah, so I have myself some cornflakes, tuna sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, and some orange juice. So, yeah, got myself a nice little light breakfast. Just before, just before we get on the boat to the island. So it's a good thing that they fed us. I don't want to eat too much because if we're going to be on a speedboat, I don't want to risk getting seasick. I've never gotten seasick before, but it's always the first time for everything. And it's the last, uh, this is the last thing that I want on my short trip in Thailand is to get myself seasick. We don't want that. So, I'm gonna finish with breakfast and then wait for the boat to get here. It should be pretty fun. Jeez. So, excuse me. We, we wait to be called? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We already, we are calling you a sky color. Okay. For the sky color, please wait. So, so, oh, please wait. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. About 10 minutes. Start okay. Here. All right, great, great. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. And for the orange, please. Yes, and sky color, please wait. All right, great, great, great. All right. Waiting to be called onto the boat. I think there's two different boats. You gotta wait. That'll be like 10 minutes. So, yeah, this is the docks. Uh, you know what, I'll actually take a video once I'm actually on the boat. And so you guys can see the beauty of the intro to this trip. Uh, they, finally, they finally called us, We're making our way over to the boat. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been vlogging this whole trip. I'm trying to put together some uh, pieces of content, you know? Ooh, wow. Yeah. Like traveling? Yeah, like traveling content. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Trying to get the YouTube going, right? <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your 
channel? It's just me, my name. Oh, okay. So Peter Million, I could give it to you. Okay, yeah. yeah. Watch your uh, vlogs. Sure. I just started, so you didn't ha I haven't put up any vlogs yet. Mm -hmm. I got other videos, but like the travel stuff, not yet, but I will be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who knows, you know? Yeah, <laughs> right. No web, no popping like a smooth. Smooth water. It's good. The cup today. Uh, on the way, the cup, anyone, we go with speedboat for engine. The speedboat, we go for engine. We use time from here, from Phuket to the PP Island, about 40 or 45 minutes. 40 or 45 minutes from the Phuket. Now, we have the staff in taking care of the time too, okay? That we stop for you about 40 or 50 minutes for the sort of thing because sometimes you can see the rich uh, because you holiday enjoy the sunshine the bamboo island the wild sand is five kilometers around it okay anyway and i have to cancel with me if you want snuggling again you can take them out from the boat and snuggling around the area So we know we're there from where are you where are you guys from? Australia. Australia. Nice, nice. What part of Australia? Melbourne. Nice. I'm from the United States. I'm from New York City. Wow. Yeah, yeah, New York, man. It's a cool place. You gotta go. I have been to USA before. Where? Argentina, Florida, South Carolina, Oh wow. Okay. So you went to a lot of places. Yes. That's wonderful. That's great, man. It's a big it's a big country. <laughs> yes. Made it to the PP Island. This is the first PP Island. There's two islands. Uh, I forgot the name, but this one I'm sure is gonna pop up on one of these, um, one of these signs. So I'm gonna show you what this island looks like. But we are here. So I'm walking through here now. Get a nice glimpse of what everything looks like. It is already humid. I feel like it's gonna rain today, but we'll see. I can smell the moisture in the air, but that makes sense because we are surrounded by water. But here's a view of what we're seeing right now. Okay. The landscape is nice. The landscape. It's very uh, plush. The vegetation looks rich, and it's interesting, right? Because this is dry season, and so I can imagine during the wet season, and all this greenery that you see here is even more green. What I heard from a lot of the locals was that during the wet season, obviously this water is going to be a bit higher, but then also the the colors of the grass and the trees and everything is extremely rich. So, yeah. Very, very interesting. So we're at Maya Bay, that's the name of it. That's what I was trying to remember. Maya Bay. That's the part that you see already paid out. And so this is Hot Nakarat Tara, Mukoi PP. Coal PP National Park. So, you got that. Oh, 
There's some interesting tree roots right there. I gotta be back at 10.50 and it is now 10.04. That leaves me with about, with about 45 minutes before I have to get back onto the speedboat. Mm, I'm about to hop off. Mm -hmm. I don't know they got up. I'm gonna get back on this path. Shit, I don't know where I'm going. Might as well follow the path that's already made for me. <laughs> so 1050. 1050. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah, I gotta do that. Alright. Get some more footage, yeah? beach on Maya Bay Beach pretty pretty nice place to be at I mean the Sun is baking though that Sun is crazy that Sun is insane they serious about it boy Yeah, I'm just going to have to go. I'm just going to have to because of the um, the worry about polluting the water with the sunscreen, so can only swim, just can only stand, take pictures. Take a nice. Walk down the beach, up and down, up and down. Look at that. This is the stuff that people love to see, right? Whoever is Rolando Jr. I see your message, man. To the people who love him, rest in peace. I'm sorry. So not too bad for a free trip, huh? I no. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Are you taking the long tail boat? I am. Oh, I am. Are you? <laughs> All right, y'all. I mean, this is a nice feeling. We can't swim in the water right now because uh, the baby sharks have actually uh, hatched recently, and so in order to protect them. We're not allowed to actually swim inside of the inside of the water because of concerns about the sunscreen getting in the water and potentially poisoning, harming the sharks. So right now, on this beach at least, we can't swim. On one of the other beaches or a few of the other beaches, we are allowed to swim and get in the water, submerge ourselves, and uh, you know, have a good time. But yeah, this is the beach. It's a nice. Nice, beautiful walk. Nice, beautiful, beautiful walk. Very good, very good. Yeah, guys. What an awesome view. All 
Alright, that's the end of the beach, and I'm just gonna do a walk back. You see, I have a feeling uh, where that cave kind of stops is where the height is during the wet season. I have a, I have a good feeling that's the cave. <laughs> which is, uh, you know, probably the situation. My eyes right now. Is this, I'm in the shade. Like my eyes hurt so much. I didn't realize for how long I was looking at the looking at the sand. That sun reflection on the sand was ridiculous. Looking back at it now. Looking at the landscape. He's gonna do a walk back, quick walk back. So yeah, guys, this is um. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, don't worry. You're fine. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Want me to take a picture for you guys? Want me to take a picture for you guys? Yes, please. Yeah, sure. Do you want a photo? Yeah, that'd be great. Why not? Oh. More to see, there's more to do, but this is the first part of the trip. On the PP Islands, this is Maya Bay. Yeah, what you see. to get off of this Maya Bay Beach right here. Um, it was a cool little experience. Didn't do too, too much, but walking around and uh, take pictures, take video, converse with some people, you know, the whole nine. So heading back over to where we got to meet up for the speedboat. And um, yeah, not a bad experience at all. On to the next destination. Jesus, it's hot, my man. It's hot. Oh boy. All right. Peter. Yay! What's going on? Hey. What's going on? <laughs> it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I like the views of like the hills, especially. You know. When you go home, yeah. You go watch the movie The Beach. The Beach? It's called The Beach. Leonardo DiCaprio is. Really? This movie. It was filmed right here. Oh, okay. I'll look it up then. I'm surprised I don't know it because he's like one of my favorite actors. Another Caprio. It's not a very known uh, movie, but it's, it's Is very it? good. Okay. And it's, uh, it has a lot of uh, scenery on the. Oh, but I don't have pants on. You might be 
Video, but you know what? I'm taking this video here. We are on the other side of the first PP Island. I don't, I don't remember the name, but just take the long tail boat into the shore, and now I'm gonna do a bit of wading in the water, have myself a little fun, and uh, enjoy it. Right, right. So <laughs> we're gonna leave them where they at. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I decided to take out the, cause I can't put that, that grip in the water because that's a battery grip. So it's actually like a charger. So I'm not putting that in the water, but this is, this is submergible. I'm not going to do it cause I'm yeah, still a bit, you, you do? This is the 11 black. Uh, the newest, right? Huh? That's the newest? That's the newest one that came out. Yeah. We got it for so that Oh, you did? Yeah. Cause the, yeah, he works for a GoPro, man. Oh! Oh! I need to know this friend because I need some. Uh, I need some GoPro equipment. Headquarters in the Bay Area. Oh, really? Huh? It's still there in the box. Really? Yeah, he just gave it to me, man. Wait, so you haven't used the GoPro? You should use it. I know. I'm telling you, the, the reason. I mean, maybe if you're not tech savvy, it could be a little complicated. I guess, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. For me, for me, I was just like, it's simple. I've just, I've been using tech since I was a little kid. So it's like, all right. You're, you're and, in that generation. Yeah, yeah. And I also do like music and video. So like, I know all about like little intricate things. So for me, popping into GoPro, all I, all I had to do is watch a video or two and then be like, okay. There, there is, I don't use it though. I, I haven't had it long enough to feel comfortable enough to use the voice command. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to mess around with it another time. Not me, man. I'm old school. Old school? <laughs> you need to press buttons. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Some of the old school stuff is better because I like, like the thing that kind of sucks about touch screens is you don't get a feedback. It's just you're touching glass or you're touching plastic, right? But like the old school stuff, you actually can press the button and then like you could see it, like you could feel it. Like okay, it's on. Like there's a there's a mental connection to it, right? That's why I like it better. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit better. I, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. All right, look at the look at the island. This is, what's the name of this one? PP what? PP Lay. PP Lay. PP Lay right now. We're PP Lay right now. In the Pile Lagoon. This is the Pile Lagoon. I'm in the water. I see this here. There's rocks. The rocks are kind of crazy and they're kind of mad. I would submerge the GoPro, but um, I don't feel too comfortable doing that yet. I just got this thing. The last thing that I need is for it to be damaged before I actually uh, <laughs> get to take out all the videos and edit it. But this is the Pile Lagoon. See what beauty, what magnificence this is. It's a little cave-ish area here. It's, it's a sight to see. Natural, natural wonder of the world. It's amazing. Anyhow, about to get back on shore and um, get myself ready to get back on the boat.
Bamboo Island. Yes, that's the name of this island right here. It's pretty nice. That's the beach. Oh, I got shades on now. Okay. Look at the wonderful, wonderful beach. Alright. Uh -huh. The tour guide hooked us up with some dates. I'm eating those. It's a pretty nice little snack to have while you're on the beach. And um, I didn't even think about that. He just had these out. He's like, hey, you want some? I said, yep. Let's do it. I'm actually looking for a little garbage can around here, but I actually don't see one. I just don't want to throw this out anywhere now. Mm-hmm. There we go. Found myself the garbage over there. Hello. this and get your walking why y'all like what does it say 25 percent battery i gotta save that battery so i'll see you guys when i find something interesting so i'm done exploring i will be doing some uh maybe not sunbathing man i get i've been getting beat up all day uh but i'll get in the water do some wading and then chill out get back on the boat and then get back to back to forget yeah all right trip today I'm gonna finish it off taking a nap on the way back to the Phuket station time for me to knock out talk to you later